Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. That would include stuff like politics and games, personal uh, vlog stuff, and movies. Which just happens to be another Star Wars piece of news. This is not a Star Wars channel, but there are some things that I'll notice as far as articles and I think... Eh, maybe we'll talk about that. And for the most part, um, I don't read the articles first. I, I'll read them uh, here for the first time uh, with you guys. But there are some. There are a few times where I will look at something first because I may not be really sure if it's something that I want to talk about. But this is not one of them. Uh, all I have to do is look at the title of this article and realize, yeah. We'll need to take a look at this. So, hey, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Um, and in return, you'll get to know about some new videos that go up on the channel. Because I got a wide variety on this channel. That's that's what killer television is all about. It's about variety. And speaking of uh, variety, let's talk about Daisy Ridley talking about how everyone's going to be satisfied with the rise of Skywalker. Well, of course she's going to say that. Of course she's going to say that. Discover Caress with Floral Fusion Oil for caressable, soft skin. No! Indulge in the rich lather and delicate scent. Wait, no! Yourself. Quiet. Be quiet. We don't want an advertisement. See, what is this? They're, they're like, they're, they're ruining my jam here. Uh... <laughs> Man, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, if people are going to be very satisfied, uh, why don't you give a money-back guarantee? I'll go see it. <laughs> I'll pay to go see it if it's a money-back guarantee. Uh, after the mixed reactions to Star Wars The Last Jedi, which was, in our critique, Eric Eisenberg's opinion, fantastic. Well, see, right there, we just summed up how... how uh, crappy this article is going to be just right there within half a sentence is that about half a sentence yeah it's about half a sentence but anyway fans have been skeptical about whether or not the conclusion of the skywalker saga will satisfy well i'm sure in eric eisenberg's opinion it'll be even better but with director ryan johnson off doing other projects such as knives out is anyone going to watch that? I, I don't care. The franchise finds itself back in the capable hands. Yeah, right. Capable. Of J.J. Abrams. <laughs> Abrams directed Star Wars The Force Awakens, which many fans consider to be markedly better than its sequel. Okay. Yeah. You know, it, it was better than The Last Jedi. I don't know, it's kind of like apples and oranges, or, uh, I don't know, apples and cabbage, you know? They're just, they're two different types of movies. I mean, The Force Awakens was like a fun roller coaster ride. You kind of know where it's going, but hey, it was a fun ride, and you may not want to go on that ride again. The Last Jedi was trying to be different, and... I liked the attempt that it was trying to do. It was just executed poorly. And not only that, but Ryan Johnson was mouthing back at fans. And that's just not cool. Anyway, franchise star Daisy Ridley, who plays Mary, Mary Jane, <laughs> Mary Sue, who plays a formidable force wielder Jedi uh, who needs no training at all recently attempted to quiet fans' concerns regarding the final film titled The Rise of Skywalker. She was asked on a scale of 1 to 10 how satisfied with eyes. How do you think she's going to answer? She chose a non-numeric answer. Well, of course, she picked the politically correct one. I think very satisfied. Everything we were doing felt in the moment really good. In the moment there's another keyword 
So when they're doing it, they're in the moment. Ah, oh, this feels great. But who knows? Later down the road, they may look back at that and say, yeah, that was really kind of crappy. But in the moment, she thought everything was great. And of course, she's not, she's not going to badmouth the film. Of course not. Daisy Ridley's comment comes to us from an interview with People TV and echoes her previous sentiments that ending J.J. Abrams and Lucasfilm have crafted is epic. No, it wouldn't. If George Lucas came back and did it, that would be epic. This is not epic. Her co-star, Os Oscar Isaac, who plays seasoned pilot Poe Dameron, effectively said the same. I didn't cover that on this channel. I know some people have. Saying the conclusion will be fulfilling. You know, it'll be fulfilling as in, like, eating uh, spoiled food and having to take a huge, nasty crap. Uh, this may sound silly, but if you've got a film with two actors who are openly endorsing the film, you should at the very... Oh, please. Please. Come on. You should, just because two people who are in the film are, are saying it's a great movie, that is all the reason that you need to go see it. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. As long as two of the stars say you should go see it, well, by golly, you should open up your wallet and go see it. Who are you to disagree with them? <laughs> I read this stuff and I'm like are you do you seriously take take yourself seriously <laughs> of course Hollywood etiquette dictates that they have to ooze positivity when promoting their projects well at least you got something right so while it could be and probably is a marketing tactic you think it's important to remember that it's probably not just a facade and even if it is, you've got to admit that it does increase and no, it doesn't. Who, who, who's, who's, who's excited about Rise of Skywalker? No one I know. I've even talked to random strangers uh, when my daughter and I went to go see uh, Endgame, Avengers Endgame. We just talked to some random uh, strangers, and they, they could care less about. Uh, Rise of Skywalker for all the same reasons that, that other people have said they don't care. Um, and no, Disney isn't paying me to say this, which means he is getting paid. So, I mean, if you've got to convince people that, that you're not getting paid for it, well, maybe you're not getting paid for this article. Would you stop shifting around? stupid um you're still a show because as long as you're saying something positive then you know you'll get into free events and all this other stuff so yeah don't give me that baloney yeah you may not be getting paid by disney but you're getting paid uh to write this article in addition to reuniting the main characters who spent an entire movie apart star wars the rise of uh, skywalker will Mark the return of the evil emperor, Palpatine, uh, because, you know, th the new characters themselves are not strong enough to support a movie by themselves. Um, it was a death that was satisfying, but it may not actually have been his death. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get past Jimmy Dean here. Arr, stop it. We all knew who laughed at the screen. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we can assume he's super happy about somehow surviving both the destruction of the Death Star and Darth Vader's arc ending act, uh, which totally makes everything pointless. And if you're going to bring him back, bring him back in the flesh. Yeah. Because they can't do anything original. Uh, the Rise of Skywalker brings George Lucas's core story to a hopefully breathtaking end on December 20th. Oh, we got a date now. That may have been out a while ago. I don't remember seeing a date. I just knew it was going to be December. If Disney and Lucasfilm's previous marketing tactics are anything to go on, tickets will go on sale in conjunction with a full trailer in early mid-October. <sighs> ah. 
as far as I'm concerned, the George Lucas saga ended with Return of the Jedi. It was about it was about Anakin Skywalker from beginning to end. He's said that before. When he's been dancing back and forth between six movies and nine movies, six movies and nine movies, one of the things I remember him saying about this about the six movie arc was that it was about the rise and fall and redemption of Anakin Skywalker. If that's the case, six movies. As far as the nine movie idea, it was supposed to be a generational thing. It was supposed to be Anakin Skywalker, his prodigy, Luke and Leia, and then the next generation after that, which is pretty much what the novels followed, um, the Star Wars Expanded Universe, which had to go through Lucas anyway. So in a way, it was kind of canon. But then Disney got a hold of Star Wars and they just said, uh, nope, screw you guys. We're doing it our way. And I knew that if they were going to, I knew that they were going to do that. And I knew things were going to go to hell when they did that. No respect for the stuff that was done before. I mean, the Star Wars novels were different from the Star Trek novels. Because all the Star Wars novels, they generally... Uh, picked a part of the timeline and wrote about it and I think for the most part at least from the Star Wars novels that I read they all tried to stay within the same timeline and not do like these parallel stories uh, unlike the Star Trek novels which they're like parallel universes it seems you know you've got the Shatner verse and you've got other books so but at least the Star Wars novels were trying to stay within that same timeline uh and lucas had was was you know keeping a close eye on things where the you know like anybody can write a star trek novel but um anyway i'm kind of rambling off uh just something i tend to do anyway um i don't know what do you think about this are you excited do do you think you're going to be very satisfied from this film because uh daisy ridley and Oscar Isaac, Isaac Newton, Oscar to Grouch, I don't know, decided to say that you're going to love this film. Uh, uh, does that make you feel confident this is going to be a great film? I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new here. Already mentioned that. Got tons of videos, all kinds of different types of stuff. And I'm always working on stuff. So, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you on another rambling video.